Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! or Chef of Destruction! This is Super Dream Geek, and last time, um, we followed Ishizu's advice after- wait, I don't remember the sequence, but we went to the Galapagos Islands, and we got another Millennium Item, now I remember the sequence, and <laughs> the, uh, god cards turned to stone, and then we had to go back to the Galapagos Islands because Tristan turned into a monkey, but he wasn't a monkey, he wasn't a robot monkey either, he just was Tristan, and it was all- one big misunderstanding of hilarity. Some hilarity and some very frustrated Super Dream Gate because those monkeys had really good decks and I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, this time, Ishizu basically told us due to the god cards returning to stone, we should go train. And does that mean I did a super long epic grind session off camera? Hit the right button. And, uh, not really. <laughs> Um, I was starting it, but then I had a thought. And basically, there are a couple of entities, I suppose we could say, that um, we haven't dueled yet. So I figured on camera, you know, let's go duel these people. Including our cute little new monkey robot friend, your brethren gave me so much trouble. So much trouble. But let's give dueling this robot monkey a shot. Oh, very aggressive, this one. Okay. So, so far it looks like they have about the same sort of deck as Tristan seems to have, which is very interesting to me. Because, spoilers, but I'm thinking that my thought process is What's the word? If I could think, I'd be dangerous. You're gonna have to forgive me. I fell asleep at like two. Oh wow, rude. I fell asleep at about like two, three in the morning last night, and then I woke up at like eight something. So I'm pretty tired. So my brain's a little. But what I'm thinking is instead of um, dueling against like Yugi and Duke and Joey, uh, I tried dueling against Mako, and it's really hit or miss dueling against him, and by that I mean it's darn near impossible without a whole heck ton of luck. So what I'm thinking is why don't we duel Tristan, not for, you know, money, like Domino, but just to get the deck capacity up, because if it can go quickly, then it might be better in the long run for these long duel sessions. I'm not sure how effective this thought process is. Um, it might be about as long as everyone else for lesser reward, so that's kind of also a little bit what we're testing here. I mean, I know a lot of it, too, is just, like, how lucky is your hand? <laughs> because sometimes, you know, you get a good hand and things go well, and then you get a bad hand and things don't go well. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm basically thinking that we can duel, like, maybe now this robot monkey and Tristan and get our deck capacity up higher faster. But, uh where I'm at mentally <laughs> with my little schemes. Yay, we won. Oh gosh, the, the amount of domino hurts though. And the cards we get is really not that great. Hmm. Aw, I can't stay mad at you, robot monkey. You're just so cute. Okay, so that was test one. So <laughs> I guess uh, Joey was happy that we finally did that test. So. Our next test, I guess, shall be another mechanical opponent. Woo. Ugh. Okay, at long last, it has been a minute since, uh, we had access to this place pretty much immediately after we beat Rebecca in episode two, I want to say. But I have never dueled this dual robot computer. So I think it's about time we give it a shot and see, is dueling this robot computer worth it? Beep, beep, beep. I am Kaiba Corporation's latest dual machine, KC-1000. I am programmed with every type of dual data. Okay. Oh, is that all you say? Okay. Challenge confirmed. Enter desired dual level. Mmm, let's try novice because, uh, I'm guessing that's gonna be around Tristan's level, but it might be around Duke's because I think this thing is very hard as it goes on. So let's try novice. Novice level. Yes, please. Dual standby. Dual standby. Three, two, one. Dual start. 
Alrighty. Why do you have to anti against a dual computer? What happens if you lose against it? <laughs> Wait, no, really. What happens if you lose against it? D does it- it takes your card, and what, does Kaiba get new cards? <laughs> Hold on, that's really funny to think about. Does he just have, like, a delivery system? Does, uh, what's his name, Broham? Does he just, you know, come out, like, and have to check how many cards have been given to the dual computer and then he just gives them to Kaiba? Or do they give them to kids? So, you know, like, how does this work? I'm very confused. I mean, I feel like Kaiba would probably not keep them for himself. He seems to only want certain cards. So maybe he gives them to kids because he does seem very big on, like, um, what's the word? Helping kids and, you know, developing, like, programs for them. That's actually really interesting, and now that's not just gonna leave my brain for a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so far this dual computer seems about the level of, like, a bit harder than Tristan. You know, or around Tristan's level, maybe a teeny bit harder. Standard is probably going to be a surprising jump up, but we'll definitely give it a shot and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I'm a little concerned because usually, um, I don't want to say the obvious where it's like, well, one of two things happen. Her, her, her. It's just, I'm really not sure which way this could go. It could be that, you know, standard is doable at this point in the game due to the way the deck is working, or it could be just straight up not. I don't know. We shall see. So far, uh, this, I mean, <laughs> this is the last turn, so that duel was simple enough, thankfully. But, um, we'll go see if the standard is, uh, any more doable. Oh my gosh, it gives you one Domino Kaiba. All right, Saber Slasher. Okay, uh, that's concerning. Mission complete. I await your next dual challenge. Uh, thank you, dual robot. Um, I will be right back and uh, we'll see how standard works. Okay, dual computer, uh, we have returned and I did not challenge you, I just spoke with you. Dang it. <laughs> okay, um, let's try standard and above. Oh gosh, there's an expert. I am definitively not ready for expert, but let's see how we fare with standard. I think this is gonna be too hard. I think standard is gonna be around like Mako's level, I wanna say. Like, I'm not even too sure if they consider my standard or if she's considered expert, but I'm thinking around Mako's level is about where standard is supposed to be. His deck seemed kind of, like it was well put together with like very few low level monsters and he was using terrains and traps and things like that. So I kind of feel like this is going to be that level of competency. Uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, I'm not ready. Eep. Somehow I got the same hand as my previous attempt, so... Yep, as I thought, as I thought. What is with this? Uh... Good gosh, um... We are just in all sorts of pickles right now, to be honest, but... We might as well try this. Don't think it's gonna help me much. I think we're in for a bad sort of way. Oh gosh. Ugh. Wait, I have a forest monster. Um, okay. That is the most amount of life point damage I have done to this thing. Buh. No. Dang it. Oh, right now we're in a bad sort of way. I, I don't know. Just, I probably sh I don't know. There are so many mind games that attempt to go on. 
Oh cool, my only shadow monster <laughs> is a tribute that I can't do. Neat. Because... Wait. Fiend beat stream, you fool! Fiend beat stream! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it wouldn't have mattered either way. You know, I... Really wish I didn't mess up so bad. Gonna tribute for something if the pattern is consistent. But for what, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Now it's getting my life points back. What is that? Could I have the Flame Swordsman or something? <sighs> yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um. Because this is immediately going to get destroyed next turn, I... Alright. Might as well try and see. I know. <laughs> I know, you, you just have to tell me every five seconds. I don't know what it brought up. Okay. I should have brought the water up. We gotta bring the water out and just go poop. Although I probably should have defended and had it beat. But whatever. Um. Uh, we're gonna keep the water out for this second. For this turn. And then we'll kind of dictate from there. Oh my gosh. All that damage I did and it healed it right back up. Build itself right back up. Because, of course, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, okay. We're gonna. We're gonna have to try and bring the Flame Swordsman out here. And just hope that the water shenanigans are done. Oh my gosh. The, <laughs> the amount of pain and, like, mind games you have to play when it comes to elements is absurd. And you just have to hope that, you know, your... Wait, no, I guess it's okay. You, you just have to hope that your element is fine. And, like, that it's not going to do anything terrible to you. Like, you want the mind games of, like, hey, I'm gonna beat you. And you're not gonna beat me. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I'm literally banking on the fact and, like, hoping... Oh my gosh, its deck is so strong. This is absurd. You're really just sitting there and like crossing your fingers that you're... At this point, I'm seriously just hoping that I can just keep chip damaging it and it doesn't have any more water types. Or that happens. Or that can happen. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep these two in defense mode. Oh my, okay, okay. Please do that again. Nothing again. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. I know that, that they have dream type monsters, but we have to go offensive. We have to go hardcore offensive. We, we have an opening. We, we gotta. One more turn, one more turn. Please, I'm begging you. What was that? <laughs> Did it discard a card? Is that the sound it makes when it dis- I don't even know what that was, it was just like <laughs> The game gave up or something. Oh my god. Perseverance sometimes. That was literally ridiculous. I mean, granted that was only four or five attempts, which in the scheme of things is not bad. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That- that's absurd. That makes sense. It's standard level. That's a very standard sort of deck. What is expert? We're not trying that. We are absolutely not trying that. Unless you want to make Super Dreamgate cry. <laughs> and, uh, no. Oh my god. All that for... Oh, this actually gives you money. Like, decent money. But, um, not worth the pain. Punished Eagle. Huh. Interesting. That's a lot of deck cost for a tribute monster, though. I'll 
I'll hold on to this. This might come in handy later, but for right now, mm, I don't know. Mission complete. I await your next duel challenge. Uh, thank you. We will probably not be seeing each other for a while, but, um, maybe later. Thank you for, uh, the very insightful <laughs> duel. Okay, um, and now I guess the last person we can test is Tristan himself. Hello. I don't really feel like it, but I'll do anything for you, buddy. Is that what I said originally? Oh, if you don't feel like it, then I feel bad. I don't want to make you do things you don't want to do. I was just going to run tests and see how effectively, um, like, who is the best person to try dueling against, but, ooh. <laughs> All right. Jeez, if you're not going to be happy, that's not what I want. Um, I guess that's kind of... Hmm. It will definitely be a bit slower to have to go inside the shop for the monkey robot, but... I definitely am way too empathetic, I will admit that, <laughs> because... Um... I get sad if video game characters are sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you don't want to do that? Okay, fine. I won't do that to you then. Meanwhile, it's... I don't know. Oh dear. Um, okay, let's see. We'll just do this. Try and get it to go a little faster. I don't know how effective that was in the scheme of things, but alright. Like, maybe this took a turn or two out? I don't know. I I can't do math that quickly on my feet, and I, I don't want to have to think about math right now. I'm too tired. <laughs> You're gonna have to forgive me. Eh. Okay. Alright. Um, I probably won't bother you again, Tristan. I- I don't know. We'll see. Do Domino. Jinza number seven. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Did that even count as practice? Oh god, that's sad. Yeah, I- I don't want to bother you, Tristan. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, um. Well then, I guess, uh, my- Research has concluded that the best thing for very fast dual capacity is probably going inside the shop and dueling against the robot monkey because, I don't know, I feel like, you know, Yugi can get traps and, like, his monsters can be decently strong. Joey has a lot of defensively strong monsters and sometimes his hand is just, you get walled. And... Duke, I'm at the point I can beat fairly consistently, but every time I don't get that last hourglass of life, it takes a little bit of my life and sanity away. So I think just for sake of speed and doing something new, we're going to have a lot of, you know, practice against this new robot monkey friend because we didn't get enough last episode. Oh boy. Uh, I guess that's we'll, what we'll do next. Okay, so that was about a 20 minute-ish grind session, and uh, this is about what we're looking like right now, which is not too bad, actually. I think um, it's a lot easier for me to focus, so I think that, uh, unfortunately, that will be all for today. Um, I do think I'm a little too... how do I put this? I'm not quite ready to move on. <laughs> past uh what we have but i do plan on making it worth it um for this shorter just little bit of grindy episode so hopefully by next episode we'll be able to move forward but anyway thank you guys so much for watching it until our next duelist adventure bye bye